Hey everybody, welcome to CR Inter Designers. This is Chetan, and this is the part three of the sword creation tutorial series. In this Blender tutorial, we are going to UV unwrap the sword. So without further ado, let's get started. UV unwrapping is an easier process. Some people face difficulty for the UV unwrapping, but it's not that much difficult. Once you understand how to unfold your 3D model and to apply the 2D texture on it, then it will be more easier for you. You need to go to the UV editing tab and you need to go to the metal preview. In the one section, you need to create the new texture add there. I have created 2K texture add there. Generated type should be UV grid and then hit OK. Then go to the shading tab and apply that same texture. So you need to create a new principal BSTF, add an image texture and select that image texture that UV grid and then connect it to the base color. So we will get that checkerboard pattern kind of texture on the blade and you need to assign that same texture to the complete sword. So you will get this kind of weird looking texture on our sword. We are not getting the right checkerboard pattern at there because it's not a properly UV unwrap. So first we will UV unwrap the blade of the sword. So basically to UV unwrap we need to add the seams and we need to separate the parts. So you can add the seams like this. Just need to select the edge and then control E mark seam to add the seam. So you will get the red highlighted edge at there. I am separating the top and bottom part means the front and back side of the sword. So I can assign the proper texture to it. You need to add the seams like this. So you can see the process at here. It's very easy. It will take your time. You can easily do this. After adding the seams, you need to select everything, then go to the UV and U unwrap. You can see I'm separating these two parts, front and back. In this way, I'm UV unwrapping this blade of the sword. You can see the UV islands of the blade. You can see there, I have separated them. And you can see the checkerboard pattern which I have got on the blade. That looks really well. Now you can understand the checkerboard that UV grid texture on the blade. You can manually adjust the position of the UV islands. Or you can use the average island scale and pack island. And that is the good way for single model but this is not a very good way for any production ready models or where you have multiple objects joined together. So in that case you need to manually separate your UV islands. You can see the texture I have got on the blade. It looks really well. In this way you can UV unwrap the blade. Then I have UV unwrap the grip of the handle. Same steps. You need to add the seams and then you need to UV unwrap it. Once you understand how to add seams on the model, then it's easy for you to UV unwrap the model. Yeah, it will take your different n number of tries to get the proper seams and to understand the UV unwrapping process. But it's not that much difficult. Easily you can do this. It will take your practice little bit. But I know you can do this. I will highly suggest to watch my UV unwrapping tutorials where I have explained the UV unwrapping process in a simple way with the step by steps. You can watch those tutorials. Link is in the description as well as in the i button. You can see the UV islands of the complete model. I have separated them. I have properly aligned them. And now I just need to pack these UV islands in that UV grid. That's a task. So you need to do this manually. You can use the different add-ons like a text tool and pixel density. These two add-ons are free add-ons. For UV unwrapping, you can use these add-ons. I have explained these two add-ons in my UV unwrapping tutorials. So you can watch these tutorials to understand these two add-ons. And these add-ons are very helpful add-ons. And these are the two best and helpful add-ons for the UV unwrapping in Blender. You should definitely use these add-ons. These add-ons will improve your UV unwrapping workflow. You can see the UV elements of the model that UV packing as well as you can see the model at the the sword model with the proper UV unwrapping and with the proper texture. So in this way you can UV unwrap your model. In the next part we will learn color ID baking which is very important for the texturing. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe our YouTube channel. Bye bye. So next video take care. Let's go. Yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shoot tastes